Hello, my name is Petra. I live in Sweden. In the summertime, I pick berries with my friends. These are blueberries. You have to pick the right berries. The blue ones are ripe, but the red ones are not. These are really sour. Most people don't like that. We make delicious cake and jam with the ripe berries. The sour berries taste sour because they have acid in them. We pick them because you can do really fun things with acid. I get some help from my super strong friend. This is Linnea, the strongest woman in Sweden. She doesn't like sour berries, but she does like cake. Time for the first experiment with acid. How do you send a secret message to a friend? With acid. Not with blueberries, but with a sour lemon. Squeeze the juice out of it and write or draw a letter. Let it dry. You can't see anything. Send the letter to a friend. How can they decipher the letter? Take a red cabbage. Remove the leaves and put them in warm water. The water will turn purple. Watch out, it can stain. Spray the purple water on the paper. Now you can see the drawing. It's a piece of cake, but you have to look hard to see it. Red cabbage juice is purple, but it turns red with acid. Here I have a glass of water. If I add a little bit of cabbage juice, the water stays purple. This is a glass of lemon juice. That is acidic. It also tastes sour. If you add the cabbage juice, it turns red. If you spray the purple cabbage juice on the drawing, the juice turns red on the spots with acid. That's how you're able to see the drawing. But what is acid? In the 19th century, there lived a scientist in Sweden named Svante Arrhenius. He discovered that hydrogen ions make things acidic. And he received the Nobel Prize for the discovery. A very important prize for scientists. Svante Arrhenius would also have eaten a lot of berries because it goes like this. Imagine these berries are hydrogen ions. I stick them to an apple. If I put the apple in the water and the hydrogen ions with it, then the water turns acidic. The more hydrogen ions there are in the water, the more acidic it is. Not only do they have a sour taste, but they can also be pretty aggressive. Time for some intense experiments. The second experiment. How do you remove the shell from an egg without peeling it? Put an egg in a glass. Fill the glass with natural vinegar. And wait a moment. A moment lasts quite long. After three days, it looks like this. Look, the shell feels really soft. Fill the glass again with vinegar and let it sit for 10 days. Then it looks like this. The shell is completely dissolved. A thin film holds the egg together. An eggshell is made of calcium. The hydrogen ions from the vinegar acid break down the calcium until it disappears. You can't eat the egg anymore. What a shame! The teeth in your mouth are also made of calcium. 
but these are guarded by a protective layer. Cola is almost as sour as vinegar. Only you don't taste it because it has so much sugar. If you drink a lot of cola, the sugar will destroy the protective layer. Then the acid can make holes in your teeth. Experiment 3. Linnea is the strongest woman in Sweden. Linnea, can you make sand from this stone? You can't do it. I can, but it's extremely dangerous. This acid is a thousand times more powerful than the acid of a lemon. So we have to protect ourselves. If I put this acid on the stone, oh, be careful, then I get a lot of foam. Wow! Now a little bit more. This stone is made of calcium, just like the eggshell. The acid reacts to the calcium, and you're left with little grains of sand. Churches are often decorated with statues made from limestone, which is made of calcium. Rain is also a bit acidic. The acid reacts to the calcium, causing the statues to slowly dissolve. Experiment 4. Limestone foams a lot when it reacts to acid. What happens when aluminium reacts to acid? Linnea has a big bottle with extremely strong acid. Inside we put pieces of aluminium foil and put the lid on. There is a tube connected to the top. We put this in a baking dish with water. Add some soap. Yes, the aluminium starts to bubble and to fizz. The gas that forms comes into the dish of water. Bubbles appear. What happens when Linnea holds a flame next to it? Wow, a bang and a flash. The acid has made an explosive gas from the aluminium. Of course, you can't do this at home. The fifth experiment. You can use acid to dissolve things like calcium and aluminium foil. Can you also make things with acid? Like a tasty cheese? We are going to cook warm milk in a pan. Squeeze a lemon and add the sour juice to the milk. Now it begins. You get white lumps and a watery fluid. Weird, right? Pour it through a sieve with a clean towel. Get all of the moisture out. When all the liquid is gone and the milk has cooled down, you have cheese. You can cut it into cubes. In the Indian kitchen, they put it with spinach and call it paneer. Mmm, yummy. Milk is made from water with milk protein. This milk protein has been dissolved in the water. The acid makes it difficult for the protein to dissolve completely. The milk proteins clump together. Sometimes I find a place where lots of berries grow. Then I can fill my basket quickly. It would be handy if I had another basket. I can make one with acid and potatoes. You need potato starch, vinegar, that's really acidic, glycerine, which you can buy at a drugstore, Put three scoops of potato starch in a pan with a little bit of water. Add two spoons full of vinegar. 
and two spoons full of glycerine. Cook the mixture until it's transparent. Put it in a bowl and spread it out. Let it dry for three days. If it's ready, you have a plastic bag or bucket because it's quite flexible. Nice! The bucket or bag works well. I can pick even more berries. Now I have enough for the last experiment. These sour berries are not yummy. I could throw them away, but that would be a shame. I have a fun idea. I can make electricity. I'm going to light up these lamps. What do you need? Discs of cardboard, paper in the shape of leaves, pieces of iron wire, copper wire, and an awl. Poke two rows of small holes in the leaves. Stitch a copper wire and an iron wire through. Prick small holes in the discs as well and attach six leaves to it. Now you have a flower. On the back side, connect the iron wire from one leaf to the copper wire of the other. Bend the last two wires towards the center of the flower. Make two new holes and poke the LED lamp through. Wind the long cord of the lead around the copper wire. And wind the other cord around the iron wire. Now the flower lamp is finished. To light it, we need acid. Linnea, can you help? Will you squash my berries? Yes, that's good. I also have some lemons. It's very acidic. Now the miracle happens. Spray the sour juice on the leaves of the flower. Look, the lamp shines. Cool. Let's decorate the forest. Wow, so beautiful. You can do lots of cool things with acid.